going on, folks? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Something a little bit different today. We're going to be taking a look at a Lino Racing 2019 holiday magazine. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's 2020. It's already past Christmas of the last decade. Well, there's some really cool stuff in this magazine, including some stuff about 2020 164s, even the championship trio, the truck, the Xfinity car, and the cup car. There's some really cool information about the 124 scales, the different ones they're offering, and the 164s. Let's jump right into it. So, first off, we got the official die cast of NASCAR, Lionel Racing Catalog, issue number 5, 2019, year and review. Uh, from our family to yours, happy holidays. Go ahead and turn the page here. And this is what you see on the first page. So as you can see, there's a lot to look at here. So over here, you got top 10 die cast of 2019. Of course, the Chase Elliott uh, primary easily going to be the top die cast. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's a, it's a Chevrolet sweep for the top five. I did not pick up the Hooters car. I wish I would have picked up the Chase Elliott Hooters car. That'd be really cool. And of course, over here, you have the top 10 raced win die cast. Of course, you have Talladega. That's a no-brainer. Roval, Watkins, Glid, once again, Chase Elliott merchandise sells. That's why he's in every Authentics wave nearly. You see so many Chase Elliott merchandise in the Authentics waves is because his stuff sells. Look, for the greater good of the company, it's so much better for Lionel Racing and the consumers than if they're able to profit. So if they release a Chase Elliott die cast each wave, and that keeps NASCAR Authentics alive, I say do it, you know? I think people are looking at it in the wrong way. Instead of looking at it like, oh, we got another Chase Elliott piece, look at it, okay, they're paying the bills with that, what can they give us now? You know, the DMPs and whatnot, like the Darlington Wave. That wouldn't be possible without Chase Elliott merchandise. So you got Kyle Busch Auto Club win here, you got Alex Bowman Chicagoland win, that was an awesome race. Dude, if they make that in 164, I'm doing backflips, okay? If they put that in the Authentics line, I'm doing backflips. Daytona 500 win for good old Denny Hamlin. You know, I would imagine the Haley Deegan would be easily past the Harvick. Uh, it's very weird how the Daytona 500 went so low in the ranking, considering that die cast has been available for the longest period of time. And, of course, the Kentucky win for Kurt Busch. Really awesome paint scheme. And you got, of course, Martin Truex Jr. and his Coke 600 victory. Let me go ahead and turn the page to the next uh, thing. And this is with some really cool information here, guys. There's some really cool stuff here. So this is all the champions for 2019. You got Kyle Busch's uh, championship die cast. It's got the, the hogwash on the roof. I don't want that. Don't get this one, okay? That has the, the Monster Energy championship hogwash on the roof. You don't want that. Get this one. This is the, this is the Kyle Busch raced version. This is not going to have the, the, the BS on the roof. This is going to be... The die cast based on what the car was in victory lane. It's not going to have some stupid commemorative uh, logo banner, which in my opinion, those things, those things suck. I'm going to be honest with you. They look tacky. They look, they look, they just, they just look bad. I mean, I won't even buy a Chase Elliott nationwide uh, commemorative version die cast because it has that crap on the, on the roof. You know, it's not a raced version joint, but no, we're going to get the raced version joint in all three scales for Kyle Busch's. 2019 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Then over here in the Tyler Reddick zone, it looks like we're going to be able to get his championship car in the 164 scale, but I don't think it's going to be the raced version. So I think it's going to be this one right here, not this one here, unfortunately. And of course, you got Matt Crafton. Now this one, it's probably going to have the championship hogwash on the roof, which in my opinion is really stupid, but at least we're going to get the Monster Energy Championship die cast, uh, you know, raced version not the, the commemorative version. You want to get the raced version, guys. Don't get the commemorative one. That's my own personal advice as a NASCAR diecast enthusiast. All right, folks. Things are starting to get really interesting. So this is a look at all 2020 diecasts. These are 124 and 164. So over here, you got Kevin Harvick's Bush Light uh, Ford Mustang. And then you got his Bush Primary. You got the Mobile One. You got the Hunt Brothers Pizza Joint there. I mean... We're talking four Harvick die casts. Of course, you know, his number is number four. Four 2020 die casts you can go ahead and pre-order right now. That's kind of interesting because you would think you would see Chase Elliott die cast. You would see, you know, of course, Jimmy Johnson joints. But what that tells me right there is that the Chevrolets, in my opinion, maybe for Hendrick at least, might be delayed. I don't know why, but this is this is a concern. I'm hoping I'm wrong. 
Uh, you got both of the RCR joints here. You got Austin Dillon. You got Tyler Reddick, not Daniel Hemrick. It's going to be Tyler Reddick in the eight. Of course, Diddy Hamlin, Kyle Busch. You got even Logano. We got Chris Busher right here, guys. That's going to be a hot die cast. Sure, it might be exactly the same as Ricky Stowns Jr.'s paint scheme, but man, I want a Busher die cast. I want a Matt Benedetto die cast. I don't care if it looks exactly like the 2019. I still want it. Believe it or not, guys, this one right here, the Bush Light car for Kevin Harvick, that's going to be the first die cast released in 2020, like the actual 2020 models. Apparently, I think uh, Plan B sales have already got their uh, their shipment in, uh, but who knows? Who knows when that will ship? Uh, whenever it does, obviously, I'm going to have a giant review covering that. That'll be a ton of fun. Turning the page here, we got some 2019 merch, some late release ones. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these have already been canceled. Um, so like this right here, this one is a beautiful paint scheme right here, Kyle Larson, but I don't think it's going to be released in the 164. I, I think it's going to get canceled. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. I know this is getting made. The Corey LaJoy joint, that's getting made. I think, yeah, the Matt Benedetto is not going to be made in 164. Um, I would be kind of shocked. Wait, what? That says Kyle Larson. What? What the heck? That says Kyle Larson right there. Kyle Larson, it's a Chase Sally diecast. Imagine that. So you got Natalie Decker. That's going to be 124. 124 Chastain. Uh, the Keselowski joint right here. I believe that's actually been canceled, unfortunately. Then you got the Kyle Busch Halloween joint. So once again, take this with a grain of salt. Some of these have been printed well before they've actually canceled them. So you really can't go by the magazine. You really have to get your information from, you know, like that official NASCAR diecast news and whatnot. And then over here, we got like some holiday deal stuff. I mean, nothing really too fancy. I mean, this is probably already gone. Like I said, this was the holiday edition of the, of the magazine. They didn't ship it until the 31st of December. And here is some collector stuff. I mean, a, a whole bunch of amazing collections here, man. Wow, like this dude, that, that's a whole bunch of Loganos. Look at all these Dale Juniors there. Holy Jesus, man. Talk about some collections. Wow, uh, really cool stuff there. And of course, these are like display cases and whatnot for 124 scale die cast. I don't know why they don't sell official 164s. I think it's really stupid. I'm gonna go over here and turn the page, and you know, it's some more uh, Lionel Racing uh, kind of like internet stuff. Ooh, this is interesting. Kind of a, a page about the 2020 Camaro, and as you can see, this is a beautiful paint scheme. I love, I love that. That just looks really good. But this is gonna be the only year for the uh, the Gen 6 2020 Camaro. That's gonna be it. This is gonna be the final year of the Gen 6 Camaro because next year it's going to be the uh, 2021 car, which is Gen 7. You really only get one shot to see this car this year. From what I was told, now I can't confirm this, but when I was told, Toyota is not going to update their 164 molds. However, Chevrolet is. So you got the Fords that are already up to date from last year. Chevrolet apparently is going to have a new 164 mold, which I'm very intrigued to see how that's going to play out. But yeah, definitely... A really interesting uh, nose to the Camaro. It kind of looks a little bit more flat. It's not going to look exactly like a showroom anymore. It's going to look a lot more kind of like the Xfinity cars, how it's a little bit more flat and not so much a three-dimensional uh, grill inlet. But take that for what you will. Now, here's two interesting things. You got the Jeff Gordon 1999 Sonoma race to win. One of the oddest die-cast releases I've ever seen is Jeff Gordon's 2013 Exalta Chromax Chevrolet. And... Something really funny about this is that it's been photoshopped. This photo right here is not the exact uh, photo it was on track. Now, I believe this is a real photo of the car. And what they did, they docked it. They took the Sprint Cup logo off. They basically made this a untitled sponsored car because, of course, Sprint no longer sponsors NASCAR anymore. They still want to release this. Now, it's, is it an amazing looking paint scheme? Absolutely. But out of all the hundreds, I'm talking hundreds hundreds of paint schemes why a 2013 jeff gordon i don't know beats me uh, apparently you can pre-order this and it's going to get made in the 164 scale that's what i've been told do i think it's going to get canceled honestly i don't think so and of course you got some uh, nascar authentic stuff uh, once again guys this was supposed to be shipped a long time ago uh you got wave three right here with the 187s which i don't even care about those wave seven uh this was announced during uh, the meldo that was like late august it's still in you know like this this wave is still being distributed right now but i've seen some stores have wave nine already so once again this is very poor marketing by lionel uh, of course you got the one these ugly 124s just blacked out windows just just an embarrassment to uh 
uh, retail line 124s. And the last thing on here, Lino Racing Sprint Car coming soon. This is apparently a render of their mold. Now, we've already seen this. This is 124 scale, by the way. We've already seen this kind of online circulating, so it's nothing new, but will i collect them absolutely not i'm just not a sprint car guy like is it is it, is it cool yes 124 scale worthy absolutely not uh but hey if you're a dirt racing guy there you go you're gonna get a new mold that is it thank y'all so much for watching the video let me know what y'all think about this uh this diecast magazine review you know it's not the newest thing you know it's supposed to be shipped before christmas but you know that's how lino racing works make sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of my new content. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you're having a great one, guys. Diecast Buffet, signing off.